Hello and welcome to Aulendorf in southern Germany. This is the Cartago showroom. This is a chic sea line motorhome and this will cost well in its base format 92,000 sorry 90,280 but uh, this may have some extra equipment added onto it. Uh, so uh, this thing here Empty weight, just under three tons, 735 centimeters long, 227 wide, 289 in height. And uh, you can put 350 kilos in the garage. It has got a uh, 170 liter water tank. Now that's pretty good. I'm sure you'd agree. And wastewater's 140. So the more you can carry in water, the longer you can be out on the road enjoying yourself, in my opinion. If you're going for the uh, van life off the road. For that, of course, you will have to upgrade the battery. This comes with an 80 amp gel battery. You're going to want to go for the lithium package. You don't have to buy it from this company of course because it might be a bit on the expensive side you could get it done elsewhere but if you're off the road you really want to get something which is I would say depends where what and etc but you know I've got 250 in mine plus an upgrade uh, to another 110 so I've got 360 in it so that gives you a vague idea uh, Anyway, there's something about batteries. There's a view down the vehicle, which I think is particularly attractive. We have the German layout here at the back. Uh, wonderful uh, looking um, artistic. <laughs> uh, I would say with the storage, let's have a look up here because this one here is slightly different. How does this thing here open? There you go. So that's quite deep inside. Now, the slight difference between the two though, notice how these ones have got the handles on and the ones over the bed haven't. I think I can see a reason for that. And also the profile differently. This is sloping that way. Obviously your head's down there, so you don't want it sticking out. Whereas that one's sloping backwards. But it all sort of blends in rather nicely. Although what I personally don't think blends in nicely is this thing here. I don't like this at all. I can't see much use for that. It's in the corner, you're saying. Yes, it's in the corner, but how about taking this? How about not putting a wall in there? Or, oh, there isn't a wall in there. There is a wall in there, sorry. There you go, there's a wall in there. I couldn't film it because it's too too small. How about taking this out the back, getting rid of the, that. These things stay the same size, but uh, this would be covered and it gives you more space to put things in. That's my idea. I'm always trying to be practical as far as space is concerned. But what is practical as far as space is concerned is this layout here, okay? So that's what the bed looks like. So you've got system to raise the mattresses up and this raised is up and this, oh, it's tight. And the reason it's tight is, you know, put that there, it's not that much. Oh, it's still time, I have to put it to one side. There we go. Put that over there and lift this up. And you've got all that space down there. What, and here's something. That sounds to me like the boiler. Has somebody put the boiler on? Anyway, a lot of space down there to carry. Look how deep it is. And you've got even coats and things easily would go down there. I think that's great. And of course, it will open at this side as well. But it'll only open that side when the stairs are in a rear position. Anyway, let's put this back now. Why wouldn't that open? It's because this here was getting in the way. And this could be a little bit of a design flaw there. This thing here is to, for the door. Come on that a bit later. Let's put the cushion back using one hand. 
It's probably you need two for doing some. Oh no, that's all right. That went in okay. Right on the other side. Let's see if this one goes up without any problems. It does. So, and you've got this here. This is part of the mattress, part of the German layout. This. Let me pull this out here. And oops. Oh, that's it. That thing there would go in there. Although it does look a bit big to me to go in there. But anyway, so that's the size of your bed. Now, so just to demonstrate easily, I'll bring this one right down there like that. And that's, uh, I think this actually should come out further. It doesn't want to. I think it actually comes out to about there. So, which would explain the size of the cushion, the mattress, and that would fit in there. Anyway, there's possibly some reason why it doesn't want to do that, and I'm not going to force the issue. Let's push this right back now to its German position. We'll put this thing here down, and now, uh, what if you want to lock yourself in for whatever reason, you might open, pull this out, and the same on this side. I don't know if you're supposed to pull it out like that. I think you're supposed to use two hands. There we go. Now, as a rule, I'm not keen on solid doors in vans. The reason I'm not, because they tend to rattle, often they're too complicated, they get broken. And although I've never had one myself, I speak to plenty of people who uh, use them and this is the feedback I get. See, most of what you hear on this, vid on my videos, are feedback from other people. What people tell me, and this is all sorts of people telling me things. Now, if you want to start a YouTube channel, look at something you'd absolutely know nothing about. But after a while, you become a sort of expert on it because people share their knowledge with you. Anyway, so uh, whilst I'm standing on this step, just show you this. Look at that. Fantastic. Flat floor all the way to the back. And what's a flat floor mean? No chipping up. It means there's probably a double floor under it. In this case, you can see there's a double floor under it. So we've got all of this storage. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through the storage parts. Now, usually it's pretty similar. Nearly always the water is here at the back. Not always, but nearly always. Here, now this here got is the storage. And look how deep it is. I mean, that's brilliant. That is fantastic. I was talking about storing water. So you can get your stuff. I mean, for me, that took me down to the ground because all this junk I've got to cart around with, well, so my winter clothes are going to have to come out before long. Summer clothes go into storage, which is a pity. A few years ago, or a couple of years ago, I did a thing saying from winter to summer settings. Fortunately, spring and autumn have now been abolished. So you don't need clothing for spring and autumn. It's from winter, summer to winter. So now it's still summer if you like. Even though it's now theoretically autumn. It's the 22nd of September. Wonderful large wardrobe. A proper drawer. Note. Proper drawer. Now so I'm going to go at the dig at the Heimer group for not having proper drawers on their things. And in here, toilet. Now, uh, let's come into the toilet. Me. Um, so I'm standing in the shower. I won't put the, pla the plastic thing around, you can see me in there. So I'm standing here, you can see. There's my feet. So this is the approximate showering position. Look, you've got all this space above me. Admittedly, the skylight is open, but there's the, there, there we go, there's the, there's the roof. So if it were closed, and of course if it's closed, you've already got a, a bulge in it anyway. So you've got a lot of room in here. Less so maybe with the toilet. Let's try and do a demonstration of the toilet facility. But, okay. 
it's not a huge amount of space here to sort of uh, relax back or whatever, but uh, it'll do. It's uh, the van is not particularly how much is about 15 square meters inside, something like that. I really like these windows. Oh, have I, have I locked myself in? Not windows, mirrors, aren't they? And I really like, I really like the sink. Although it's a pity it's got domestic, uh, non-domestic hole there. Domestic holes always are what I want. Let's see if I can take, no, I won't be able to. Yes, I will. There you go. You've got one, two, here's the second one. Drainage holes in there. Yeah, that's quite nice. And here also. That will, that's a storage. Door opens like that. It's a nice big door. See how it, clo see how it closes. Now I know the door would probably get in people's way. That's why I like sliding doors. The door might get in people's way. I do appreciate that, but you know, it's a two-person van. There's no extra bed in here. So, you know, for two people, I'm sure they could sort of make do. Now, bore up this then. How about that coming across like that? And there, uh, that like that. I see, you've now closed off the washroom. Let's come back in and see it from the other end. You can even close it there. Oh, I didn't know. Something like that. That would mean that here we have a dressing room of sorts. Close this. This is why I need a second person, there you go. Okay, it's a bit for a dressing room. It is a bit of a squash, but it's, it is a motorhome. So I, I have to say that that would count in my book as a dressing room, although it is somewhat squashed in here. Yeah, see if you can, can you see it from there? That might be a better way of showing it. Over-engineered maybe. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. So if you, if you unless you're sort of really thin. Uh, so put that back. I'll go back there. Right. Anyway, so now I'm in here. This is part of the kitchen. Wonderful. Uh, slide out pantry it stacks of stuff in there and it looks to me as it's using the entire length of the wall sometimes they don't here three burners two plus one and the sink large sink That's large. This thing here comes out. If I can only remember how to do it. Well, it's supposed to come out. Oh, sorry, I'm not using the force. I always try to be delicate. And, you know, with the amount of stuff that's broken at trade fairs, I don't want to find myself breaking something. I bet you think it's all broken by me, especially. Freezer. Fridge, drawer, and shelf. Shelf is there for passing food, I think. So from here to the table, I think. I think that looks quite good. 
Right, you've got these wonderful drawers be below, uh, which open like this, I shall demonstrate, which means you open this and this at the same time. There you go. And this. There we go, I'll put this one back. So close to that. Ah, it's very, very nice. I'll make a bigger effort at closing that. Oh, some wrong here. Also note the indirect lighting, the aeroplane type lighting under. That's another nice feature. Right, so it's a semi-integrated vehicle. This thing here has, is on the Fiat automatic gearbox. This vehicle I see has been sold. So I certainly don't want to stop smashing it up. This much space up front. You know what, I really like this. There's the television which pops up behind this chair here. Oh, this one really does appeal to me. Skylights. There's a fan. You know, for me, I could just stack it. I could get all my stuff in here. Well, let's, before I say that, let's have a look at the carriage. Because the carriage might uh, put me off. All right, so storage under there. 350 kilos. Same, uh, I think the doors are the same size. Or maybe this one is slightly bigger, but that one there is enormous as well. In there, you've got your electric stuff. Um... Take it. Oh, the door here is now they have uh, okay, the door's double locking as it always was. They start putting new types of doors in here, safety doors. And on my camera screen, the light is flashing, but it's not flashing in reality. Anyway, we'll see if that's <laughs> later. Um, so, and uh, you can also get it with central locking now as well. It's only central locking for the habitation and the uh, passenger and driver's drawers. It's not for the flaps. But in some of the more expensive models, you get, it does it for the whole lot as well. But I think that'll come in a couple of years' time. Here, okay, there was a chair there, which is possibly a little bit unnecessary. But you can see through there the amount of space in the double floor. But I'm going to do that from the other side. Here's another one. This one's even bigger. See the double floor there? Pretty good. Here, well, let's have a quick look at this one here, as it's here. This one, chic, sea line, integrated, into 4.9 LA, 739, 227, 289. So that's length, uh, width, and height. Uh, empty weight 3,150 per on the four and a half ton basis. That in theory is 1,350 kilos of payload. Right, so this is the integrated one. It looks very similar, same at the back, but it's got here yeah, separate shower and Toilets in here, a lot more space in the toilet. Door will close like that. This is now not a dressing room, even though it's giving you more room. Why is this not a dressing room? It's because you can't keep your um, uh, clothes here. This part here will separate. There we go. So you can keep that closed and that closed at the same time, should you should you want to. And of course this closes in the same way as the other one did. Oh, 
Here's the television. No, sorry, it's not the television. My mistake. You can't want that be a tiny television. It's just a bit of storage. But they often use these things for the television. Right, now it's uh, uh, this one's got the extra bed, so it sort of just hides a bit the advantage of the uh, integrated motorhome. Unfortunately, Austin's also got an oven up there. You, know. you can get an oven for the other one as well if you wanted to. Television there. And if I come down here, this is on a manual gearbox. You uh, oh, I didn't mention in the other van. Bottom left hand, you've got the uh, reversing camera. So, oh, I do like this one. I think that's really nice. Oh, didn't give you the price of this integrated one. So we'll have a walk over here now slowly and I'll do that. So the price is, on this case, 107,000. Right, but, 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 now I've said how much I like this fan. I'll take you to the one. I'm expecting them to give me. I mean, it stands to reason. I'm visiting their company. They ought to leave me a little uh, something small from their company. That's fair, isn't it? Anyway, so let's have a look at the one I would probably choose. Admittedly, not the bed layout. The bed layout wouldn't actually suit me, but this is the one. And I'm so there we go. Seats are down to uh, allow the bed to come down. I won't bring it down right now. This is the one I would choose. Why would I choose this one? So this is me personally. So you know the bed's the same same sort of thing in a way. It doesn't have the slide out bit. Unfortunately, but you know, same storage underneath. It doesn't have a wardrobe other than the ones under the bed. It has this type of washroom with a false wall which moves in and out up here, like that. There we go. There's your little shower. If you don't use it as a shower like that, you use it like that. Okay. The reason I choose this vehicle is because of the size. It's only 212 centimetres in width. The one we've just seen is 227, 15 centimetres. 15 centimetres in width might not sound like much. But when you're driving down these German motorways, with all the work's going on. Um, for example, that would really bother me uh, having to do that. So if I reduce the width of my current vehicle, here's one that might suit me just as well. That other one's 667 centimeters in length. This one here is 699, 695. But the problem is, both of them are integrated. And I want a semi-integrated. So anyway, there's these two. It's a similar price range. You know, it's very difficult to actually compare the two. But it's empty weight. It's about 2,700, if I remember right. 2,760. And, uh, you know, stack of storage in there. Okay, so gives you a little bit of a look at this vehicle. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. So that's the Cartago Chic Sea Line. And yeah, I'll get a nicer view of it. I'm trying to walk to one side to get a 
bit of a look at it to finish off with but uh, there it is so thanks for watching hope you found it interesting 25 minute film and uh, all the best from germany <laughs>